Welcome art enthusiasts and history lovers, join me on this fascinating journey as we embark on a visual exploration of the captivating and symbolic representations of one of Christianity's most intriguing figures, Saint John the Baptist. From Renaissance masterpieces to more later interpretations, we'll unravel the layers of meaning behind these artistic portrayals and discover the profound influence this enigmatic saint has had on the world of art. Saint John the Baptist is a significant figure in Christian tradition, he is known for his role as a prophet and for baptizing Jesus Christ in the River Jordan. According to the New Testament of the Bible, John the Baptist was a cousin of Jesus and his ministry played a vital part in preparing the way for the coming of Jesus as the Messiah. John the Baptist is often depicted as a rugged ascetic, living in the wilderness and wearing simple clothing made of camel's hair with a leather belt. He preached a message of repentance, urging people to confess their sins and be baptized as a sign of their commitment to turn away from wrongdoing. Leonardo da Vinci's portrayal of John the Baptist is notable for its meticulous attention to detail and the artist's mastery of chiaroscuro, a technique that uses contrasting light and shadow to create depth and three-dimensionality. The play of light and shadow on the figure's face and body gives the painting a sense of realism and adds to its dramatic effect. The pose of John the Baptist in the painting is reminiscent of classical sculptures, with his left hand pointing upwards and his right hand holding a reed cross. This gesture symbolizes John's role as a prophet who pointed the way to the coming of Christ. The enigmatic smile on his face, a characteristic often associated with Leonardo's works, adds to the mysterious and contemplative atmosphere of the painting. Caravaggio's portrayal of Saint John the Baptist was often characterized by a sense of realism and intense psychological presence. His paintings stood out for their attention to detail, naturalistic lighting, and the use of ordinary people as models, which was unconventional for religious art at the time. Caravaggio's innovative approach to painting had a profound influence on subsequent generations of artists, and he is considered one of the pioneers of the Baroque style. Unlike the other saints made for the main section of this altarpiece, in this work John stands not on a marble parapet but in a wilderness of pink rocks scattered with bare trees. A clear stream flows along the front of the painting, and reeds sprout up along the water's edge. The barren landscape and the saint's apron allude to the years John spent as a hermit in the desert punishing his body with uncomfortable clothes and poor food to bring him closer to God. Wearing a camel skin, hair sighed towards his flesh so that it was scratchy and uncomfortable, and to have forage for food, eating wild honey and locusts. He points at the scroll which curls from his right hand, on which is written, Eke Agnus Dei, Eke Ki. Theses are the first words of the phrase with which John recognized Christ as the Messiah when he baptized him. Behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. According to the New Testament of the Bible, John the Baptist was executed by beheading. He had openly criticized the unlawful marriage between King Herod Antipas and Herodias, who was the wife of Herod's brother. Herodias held a grudge against John and wanted him killed. An opportunity arose during Herod's birthday celebration when Herodias's daughter, known as Salome, danced before Herod and pleased him greatly. In his delight, Herod made a promise to grant her any request, prompted by her mother, Salome asked for the head of John the Baptist on a platter. Although Herod was saddened by the request, he did not want to break his promise, so he ordered John's execution. As the patron saint of baptism, he is frequently portrayed in baptismal scenes, emphasizing his connection to this sacrament. The artistic representations of Saint John the Baptist reflect his significance as a prophet, forerunner of Christ, and symbol of baptism within Christian tradition. And that concludes our journey through Saint John the Baptist in art. I appreciate you joining us and hope you enjoyed exploring the various interpretations of this biblical figure. If you found this video informative and engaging, please subscribe to my channel for more captivating content. Thank you for watching and I look forward to bringing you more insightful videos in the future.